Let's have a quick introduction to robot framework. So we are done with the installation of robot framework and all the required components. Now let us open write by just typing write.py. You need to have your path variable set to run this directly. Now you see here we are have file. Here we can create a project by clicking on new project. Just give the name of project and the path and then click on OK. So once you have a project, it basically creates a test suit for it. So if you see here, this is a suit name, a sample project. And on this suit, we have different properties that we can set here. We have one edit tab in that we can see settings where we have documentation, setup suit, suit teardown, test setup and a lot of other properties. We'll discuss all these one by one. Then we have import of library resources and variables. We can create scalars, list and dictionaries. We'll go through all these things one by one in our future videos. Let us first create a simple test case and see how we run it and how do we see a report for it. So we have a set of built-in functions for the time being we are just using a very simple function that is just for logging on the console. So the name of function is log since robot is a keyword driven framework we just need to have a keyword and then the uh, we need to pass the arguments and it will perform all the actions what are required. So you can see here the source of uh, log is built-in library and these are the arguments now how do i get to know about this uh, help file you just need to click on that cell where you have your keyword and then hit control space then it will open this help file and you can see all the explanation and examples so here we can see if we put hello world message and if i select the test case and run it from here it shows a status that okay it took this much time one of the test case was passed one is failed it shows that Output is saved here log file is saved here and here is a report it took this much of time And if you want to see the report we have two buttons here on the top also One is for report and one is for log log. So if you click on report You will get a summary of uh, all the test cases that are run the time taken and you will see this all entire window in green If there is any test which is failed you will see this in red If you click on the log you will see a detailed description of every test case you can expand it and then see what happened actually. So this was a simple test a text that we have printed. Now let us pass on second argument which was in um, second uh, cell. So all the arguments that we need to pass on would be written in different cells of uh, that particular row. And in the first column only we need to pass on the name of uh, the, the keyword that we are using. So you can see it is now printing it as a warning. Right. The third one is uh, if we want to use a HTML structure, we'll put HTML over there and then we can pass on our message in form of HTML. We can put a bold tag or let's say we, if we put H3 tag so that it will be having a, a bigger size or H1 tag. So let us run it and see how it actually makes the difference. If we save and run it, you will see in the report that hello world message is now printed in that format. You expand it and you will see the difference. So this is how we can use robot framework. In the next tutorials, we'll see more details of creating test cases. Thank you. Stay connected.